Innovation, science, technology are really about how we adapt to the changing world around us to be successful. From the day that Steve and his family bought the team, Steve was very clear this was not just about the Mets and the players on the field. This was also about the communities around us. The workers that work in our building, the fans that fill the seats, it's for them. We have 50 acres of asphalt parking lots around City Field. It's one of the largest undeveloped plots of land in the city. And so this Queen's Future initiative has been a series of interactions with the community to allow us to get input in what the community would like to see around City Field in the future. We've now had a chance to interact with over 22,000 people in all the neighborhoods around us. They'd like to see us reconnect the Flushing Meadows Corona Park. They'd like a project that takes into the perspective of the community, not just in the initial design, but long term. A project that can support local cultural institutions like NYSCI. Something that can create jobs year round, provide great entertainment, food, things for people to do before and after games. Really make the area vibrant year round. We love the Mets. They are one of our closest neighbors. They're in walking distance from the museum. And I think the vision they have for what they're calling Queen's Future is not only going to enrich their campus, it's going to enrich Queen's as a whole. Steve Cohen and the Mets have been incredibly committed to figuring out what Queen's wants and what Queen's needs and what they can do to make that a reality. Together, we can be a world-class destination that doesn't just bring people to Queen's for the ballpark, but keeps people in Queens for a host of other activities and other opportunities. The community is really the heart and soul of everything that we do. It's really the foundation in which we build all of our programs. These relationships that we're building with our closest neighbors is an opportunity for us to change the face of STEM. It's an opportunity for us to reach students as young as the preschoolers who are in the school right next door, all the way up to college levels. To me, it means inclusivity and it means bringing as many people into the field as possible. The things that the kids are learning here at NYSI in partnership with the programs that we're doing in the local community are exactly the kinds of things we need to be doing to open kids' eyes to the possibilities, to the technology that's changing the world so they can be in a position to have great successful careers and take us forward. Kids at the school across the courtyard can look out and see the rockets and think about what's possible. It's really an inspiration. We can see those rockets from City Field. It's just a great reminder of potential that's possible when you bring together great minds in science and technology and engineering and what we're capable of.